Greetings, fellow citizens of Disneyland. Bricky here. Today's adventure, your guide to all projects that Marvel has in store for us for fall of 2021 and how each of these possibly could affect Avengers Campus at California Adventure. There's a magic about fall. Back to school, back to work, seasonal change, and Hollywood has a captive audience again. Marvel returns to its heroic status with four projects for us this holiday season. Kicking off that magical week before Christmas Friday, December 17th with Spider-Man No Way Home. But before that, kicking off the Thanksgiving holiday weekend in the States, Wednesday, November 24th, Hawkeye will premiere on Disney+. Plus. Also appearing on the streaming service will be Miss Marvel appearing sometime in late 2021. Our first project comes to us Friday, November 5th, when The Internals shows up in theaters and let's break down how each of these projects could also show up inside of Disney's California Adventure at the newly opened Marvel's Avengers Campus. Where so far we have seen nearly every Marvel project since the land opened create a real world experience in one form or another inside of the campus. On November 5th, the Eternals will show up in theaters. No word yet and I'm doubting that there will be a same day release on Disney+. Plus. For those of you that are unfamiliar, The Eternals is based on characters and stories created by the legend Jack Kirby. The Eternals are a race of fantastically powerful proto-humans engineered by the Celestials to harness vast amounts of cosmic energy. But how do they fit into Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? The Celestials are some of the oldest creatures in the universe, using their advantage of time to harness massive amounts of power, and over the centuries, they have run into just about everyone. The Celestials have already appeared in passing during both Guardians of the Galaxy films. But how could the Eternals fit into Avengers Campus? Well, a no-brainer and a first thought would be something placed in an exhibit outside of Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, or something could be placed inside of the collection in the ride's interior queue. Having already crossed paths with the Guardians, this could be an easy and affordable injection into the land. But if Marvel slash Disney are feeling very excited about this film, and they think they have a hit on their hands, which is hard to tell because they have moved this film's release date around a couple of times, which could be a very good sign or a very troublesome sign. However, if Disney thinks they have a hit, there is an outside chance they could appear inside of Doctor Strange Sanctum. The Eternals open up the idea of superhuman powers, skewing in the direction of magic, making the Sanctum a possibility, but one that is more costly. If the movie is a hit and they know it, Disney will invest and go big. If not, imagine something smaller next to or inside of Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. I think this is the project that I'm the most curious about because of how this film can possibly crack open so many other huge opportunities inside of the Marvel Cinematic Universe as well as Avengers Campus. Hawkeye is the upcoming fifth television miniseries on Disney Plus, featuring the characters Clint Barton as Hawkeye and Kate Bishop as Hawkeye, taking place after the events of the film Avengers Endgame. While in New York City, post blip, Clint Barton must work together with the young Kate Bishop to confront his enemy of the past, Ronan. And the best part is, he needs to do this in order to get back to his family in time for Christmas. Yes, it's a Marvel Christmas series. Thank you, baby Jesus. With six episodes kicking off the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, that's the 24th, and concluding on December 29th, this series is going to take us all through the holiday season over the best six weeks of the year. How this series could fit into Avengers Campus, following other Disney Plus series, and it being around the holidays, I expect this project to take shape as a photo opportunity inside of Hollywoodland. I mean, how can Disney miss out on a holiday photo op that celebrates a new series on Disney Plus and showcases one of the classic Avengers? I don't expect a face character of Clint Hawkeye inside of Avengers Campus, but I could see a face character of Kate Hawkeye, as Disney tries more and more to bring diversity into its parks and more heroines. My guess, see Kate standing on the back of the Avengers Jeep or keeping a watchful eye on the land from atop of Avengers HQ. To kick off the week before Christmas, Spider-Man No Way Home swings into theaters Friday, December 17th. Expect Doctor Strange to fill in the mentor role left behind from Tony Stark, and his presence has fueled speculation that this film may see other Spider-Men from previous film series. The trailers have already confirmed villains from the Sony Spider-Universe, so all bets are off for this one. 
go into this film expecting anything to be possible at any time. And behind the scenes, the business on this movie is just as crazy as the universe splitting that should be a fun way to split away from too much family time during the holidays, or at least for a few hours to go see Spider-Man for the third time. No, we won't tell grandma. The biggest way this film could fit inside of Avengers Campus is of course to create a new storyline inside of Web Slingers, but I would bet the farm that this isn't happening. The ride isn't even a year old yet, and Disneyland has been very, very stingy on updating video game style attractions. Just ask Midway Mania. So maybe the more efficient and affordable way would be to reskin the Spider-Man stunt show by switching to this darker suit for both the human character and the stunt-tronic performer. But if Disney wanted to get wild, and I pray that they do, they could have several Spider-Man in the meet and greet area, not only providing more Spidey supply for the Spidey demand, but also bringing the multiverse to this land. And to keep it simple, they could even have Doctor Strange bring a Spider-Man from another universe over to the Sanctum coming through the magic doors. I doubt that will happen, but dreams do come true at Disneyland. But with Sony still being a partner on Spider-Man, you could also anticipate that maybe nothing happens because it is show business. Miss Marvel is our final fall project in the sixth Disney Plus Marvel series to appear. It's still scheduled for late 2021, but has no release date as of filming this video. However, we just recently got the save the world, save the date for Hawkeye. So there's no reason to panic and I feel like it will still come this season, as the Disney Plus series will serve as a setup for the film, The Marvels, slated for next year. Miss Marvel follows the adventures of superhero Kamala Khan as Miss Marvel, who is Marvel's first Muslim character to headline their own comic book. Khan is a teenage Pakistani American from Jersey City, New Jersey, with shape-shifting abilities, who recently discovers that she has inhuman genes. I gotta get a pair of those. Miss Marvel will probably find a home as a photo opportunity inside of Hollywood land, or shall we say Avengers Campus North. As much as Disneyland, young girls and Pakistani Americans would probably all love to see Miss Marvel represented inside of the park as a face character, don't expect to see her there. As Disney, to my knowledge, has never done a teen or child actor as a face character inside of their theme parks. Expect a cool backdrop to tell all your friends that you're buds with Miss Marvel. So far as Avengers Campus has been open, we have seen every project in one form or the other get some sort of representation at Disney's California Adventure and many inside of Avengers Campus. It'll be interesting to see as Phase 4 develops and bigger movies come out with some of the franchise stars inside of them, how all of this will take shape inside of Avengers Campus, which is set up to be a very unique theme park experience where whatever you're seeing at home on your TV or at the cinema on the big screen, you can also see in real life as you go to the theme park. For adults, it creates a fun photo opportunity, but for children, it must make all of this seem so much more real to them. I hope that Disney doesn't give up on this aspect of Avengers Campus because it is right now what truly makes this land more unique than any of the others around it. Let me know in the comments below, do you enjoy this about Avengers Campus? Which one of these four projects are you looking forward to the most? And give this video a thumbs up and not a Thanos snap. Friends, subscribe to the channel and when you do, ring the bell to follow along because everything that happens at Avengers Campus I cover here over on the channel, as well as taking you in and doing designer walkthrough tours, letting you know how the land fully develops over the years. Coming up this fall, I'm doing a series where I'm going to show you the difference between Avengers Campus during the holidays and how it looked as Bugs Land. So please, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, give a thumbs up, and thank you so much to all my heroes over at Club 1313 for making today's video possible. Thank you so much for showing up and thank you so much for letting me share with you the good Good news. So friends, until the next time I see you fighting crime inside of Avengers Campus, I'll see you back here on the channel with more Avengers coverage.